Uh, Michelle, you're on the sharp end of all of this as a business person. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you looking for from the budget? Well, I think that um, we really, there, there seems to be often a quite anti-business narrative in this country, which I strongly disagree with. Um, we're talking about capitalism being a bad thing and all the rest of it. Again, I disagree with that. But when you look at the makeup of the businesses, mostly their SMEs, um, particularly their non-employing SMEs. So an SME, so, we should explain for sorry, a small, small and yeah, medium-sized Yeah, business. sorry, uh, less, less than 250 employees. Yeah. Now, there's lots of conversations around things like IR35, if, um, the loan charge, 2019 loan charge, things like this, which really have um, um, the possibility of deeply affecting people's lives. So these are uh, tax setups, if you like, for want of a better word. Um, that people have entered into legally that now, for example, if you look at the 2019 loan charge, they're talking about it's a retrospective tax going back 20 years. And there's lots of businesses which people are saying, telling us they'll be made bankrupt if this goes ahead and people even threaten to kill themselves. It's Absol a big issue out there. It's, abs it's a huge issue. Um, but even going through the newspapers, I've struggled to actually find it referenced. But for SMEs, for, for um, sole traders, self-employed, etc., this is a massive issue. And then obviously you've got things like the business rates, we talk about that. We've been talking about that for a very long time. And now is the time for some action to actually mm. equalise and level out, level out the playing field so that people can compete properly. Can I ask you about one other issue which is really getting people upset at the moment, which is the retrospective grabbing of people for tax who thought that they were uh, engaging in entirely legal tax avoidance schemes over the mostly self-employed people or small businesses. And the Treasury is now retrospectively going after them in some cases for sums that will bankrupt their businesses or bankrupt their households and people are even talking about committing suicide as a result are you looking again at this well look um, people have to pay the tax that is due uh, and i don't know what specific um, uh, schemes you're referring to but um, the, uh, the, the loan scheme disguised the remuneration loan scheme, yeah. disguised as loans exactly was it. was always uh, illegal uh, tax avoidance we've always been very clear about that there's never been any doubt about it uh, and people should have known that what they were doing um, was unlawful. 